fingertip injuries are nasty, especially with kids catching and crushing their fingertips in door frames, badly operated on, and you will leave their fingers at risk of infection in the bone, cause irreversible nail plate abnormalities, and if you suture like this, you may even pull the fingertip off. Disaster. Let me show you how a plastic surgeon does it. The cut is on the sterile matrix into the paronychial folds. It doesn't affect the hyponychium, hyponychium, or underlying germinal matrix. The volar pulp skin is also uninjured. You start by suturing the pulp and paronychial folds for alignment. The next tip is essential to being a pro at these. Suture from island to shore, from unstable to stable. In this case, from the tip of the finger to the proximal finger. If you suture the other way, when you pull the suture, you will pull the cut fingertip right off. Tie your standard surgeon's knot, followed by two reef knots. Make sure your knots are square and you bring glabrous skin to glabrous skin. You don't need to suture the underlying fat on your vascular bundles. Now do the exact same thing on the other paronychial fold. Now you suture the sterile matrix. There are different options, but interrupted with a fast dissolving suture is the simplest technique. Suture from the cut tip into the more stable finger. The nail bed sits right on top of bone, so your suture does not need to go deep. As soon as you enter, let your wrist rotate so the needle quickly curves up and doesn't just scrape the bone. You can't be too rough or pull the suture too hard as you may pull the fragile injured nail bed off the finger. Once you've tied your secure knots, you can simply repeat this process until you've reapproximated the nail bed.